Hello, everybody, and welcome to Spiritual Bite number 242, dated May 2nd, 2021. I'm Walter, your mobile historian and blue collar scholar. This spiritual bite is entitled Honor God. You know, in life, our Heavenly Father has enabled humans to overcome, you know, some formidable adversaries. You know, whether, you know, said adversary be uh, poverty, uh, homelessness, joblessness, uh, a difficult educational pursuit, you know, adversaries come in different forms for different people. But no matter what form they come in, okay, the taste of victory over said adversary or adversaries is no less sweet, all right? regardless of what kind of adversary it happens to be, all right? And with that in mind, we should know that our victory over the adversaries in life wasn't guaranteed. It took the help of our Heavenly Father, who promises us in uh, quite a few instances throughout Scripture that he will destroy our opponents, all right? When they come for us, he comes for them. And guess what? They can't fight him. They can fight us. Yeah, and indeed bring us to our knees. But they can't fight him. And one way, one way of many ways uh, to say thank you to the Father is by honoring him. All right? Scripture emphasizes said point uh, in the book of First Kings going back to the days of King Solomon, uh, an individual who is widely respected and revered in three different religions, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, okay? When Solomon ordered the construction of the temple, this was indeed to honor God, all right? So if you'd like to follow me in the book of First Kings, Chapter 5, uh, verses uh, 3 through 5, we can see exactly where the origins come from. It reads as follows. You know that because of the wars waged against my father, David, from all sides, he could not build a temple for the name of the Lord his God until the Lord put his enemies under his feet. But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side, and there is no adversary or disaster. I intend, therefore, to build a temple for the name of the Lord my God, as the Lord told my father David when he said, Your son, whom I will put on the throne in your place, will build the temple for my name. So, Solomon was fulfilling, all right, what had been told to David that his son, all right, would build a temple in his name, all right? The Lord told David that his son, who would be King Solomon, would build a temple in the Father's name, all right? This was one way of honoring our Heavenly Father for his most gracious and wonderful deed in vanquishing their adversaries. All right? As it is written, there is no adversary or disaster. The Father took care of them all, wiped them away. Like, you know, cleaning the chalkboard, wiped them away, leaving nothing left. And this was how the Father was honored. Solomon fulfilled what was predicted and told to David. So, we, folks, show honor to our Father, not just by doing things such as this, but by obeying Him and deferring to Him. That is the first way you show honor. And to show that is how you show you respect him. That is how you show you love him. 
not by giving him lip service, but by, by, by following his word, his guidelines, and his principles, okay? Not everything that the Father expects is written down, all right? A great percentage of it uh, is, but a great percentage of it is not, all right? That's the first way. And the second way to honor God, of course, you can do it in ways like this. You don't have to literally build a temple, but you can certainly, okay, honor him by way of your deeds in other ways, all right? If you wish to build your own form of a temple to him, that is certainly fine. But one, another way more simply put, that we can show honor to our Father, if you're looking for a physical way to do it, is to sacrifice your time, your energies, all right, your personal uh, life pleasures at times for Him, all right? Whatever you love doing, all right? Perhaps you may want to sacrifice it occasionally for the Father. Spend the time in prayer. Spend the time, okay, with others who desperately are in need of spiritual guidance. Spend the time, all right, with those who truly are in need of a friend, okay? These are other ways of honoring our Father and showing Him thanks when he showed you such grace and such mercy, all right? Things don't always have to be materialistic. As I was always taught, you know, uh, time, you know, is far more precious than money and material things. All of that can be re-earned and re-obtained. But once time is gone, it's gone forever. You don't get time back. The best you can hope for is maybe an extension of your own time down here. That's up to the Father. But generally speaking, time is gone. Can't re-earn it. All right? So, honoring the Father with your obedience and with your time, in my humble opinion, and in any other way you can possibly think of to honor him and show him thanks for the many wonderful things he has done for you and continues to do for you, for us, every day. You know, these are ways to honor him, okay? Praise him. Of course, go to church, all right? Giving, that's certainly one way you give the Father your time, all right? You know, unless, you know, you happen to be a fellow Catholic or Episcopal, you know, you're Baptist or other mainstream Protestant religion, you undoubtedly, if you go to church, probably spend a whole lot of time in there, okay? So, you know, their services tend to be a bit longer than ours. I'm just saying that in general. So, time, all right? Time with the Father, time with others who truly need him, who may be lacking and need someone like you to spread his word and his message of comfort and mercy. All right. These things mean more than what you may realize. And when you share God's gifts and God's grace with others, believe me, folks, he will continue to bless you mightily as he always has. As you do good to others, believe me, the Father We'll give it back to you several, several hundred times more. All right. Simply put, honor the Father. All right. Obey him and honor him with your time and any other ways you can think of. You know, it's not all about you. Show the love to others. All right. So that's my take and interpretation. Uh, you know, you can never give too much to those in need. All right. And you can never ever honor our Heavenly Father enough, all right? He's with us from birth to death and then forevermore thereafter. There's never too much. We can never possibly offer enough 
to fully say thank you to the Father. So, I thank you for listening to this uh, very much. Uh, if you made it this far, I appreciate you for hearing me out all the way to the end, all right? You know, if you gained some insight or like this video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate that. And if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so now. You know, your support is priceless. Just hit that little red subscribe button right there and we'll be in business. It's totally free and you get the updates uh, when I post new videos. All right. So take care. Stay safe out there. Be blessed. And I will talk to you at the next bite. Have a good day.